I can't. I can't. You can keep your friends giving. I'm done. That is delicious. Hi, friends. It's Gabby and Melissa. Can you believe Friendsgiving is here? Ah! Our guests will be arriving soon, and I can't wait to be sitting around the table with everyone. Yep. Even Bruce is coming. What? I thought he couldn't make it because he had plans with his lot of friends. Okay, so technically the real Bruce isn't coming, but I've thought of a pretty great alternative. Well, the fake cutout of Bruce is coming. The fake cutout Bruce? Is that a Melissa-ism or something? I have no idea what she's talking about. What does that even mean? Oh, you'll see. Oh, so many surprises. I can't wait. So is there anything left to plan? Nope. Today is going to be easy peasy. The only thing left to do is to give thanks to God and spend time with our friends. Planning Friendsgiving has been super fun so far. And we've learned some good lessons along the way, like how God can help us be content and how wanting more and more can make you miserable. But I am definitely looking forward to an easy peasy day. So should we review the guest list one more time? Nah, the invitations were mailed out, so everyone for sure got their invites. Trust me, Friendsgiving is a go. Are you sure? Absolutely, yes. All right then. Well, kids, Melissa and I are gonna get the table set and get ready before the guests arrive. Hey, do you think you could keep an eye on the turkey for us? We'll see you in a bit. Touches and voila! I'll get it! I got it! I got it! Have you ever noticed how much Gabby enjoys getting the door? She would make a great butler. Dun, 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 dun. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris has arrived! Yay, Chris! I'm so glad you're here with us! Wow, everything looks so nice and whoa, so many glitter turkeys. And hey, Bruce! Yeah, so the actual Bruce couldn't be here, so I ordered a giant sized picture of him. She made a cutout of Bruce, but my giant glitter turkey was not allowed at dinner? Okay, well, regardless, I'm not gonna let that steal my joy today. So, how has Turkey Bowl been? Awesome, actually. I really hope that they invite me to go next. I got it! <laughs> yeah, watch me. Yeah. I told you she loves getting the door. 
Danton and I, Rob is here! Hey, what's going on everybody? Chris, this is Rob, Rob, this is Chris. Hey, Chris! Rob! Oh, oh so good goodness. seeing you guys. Sit, sit, sit. Okay, sit. okay, absolutely. Oh, so good to see you. This looks amazing. You guys went all out. Well, Rob, so what have you been up to? Where, okay, where to start? So I've been on tour with the CF Kids Starcast, and it's been great. Gabriella Botticelli and Michael of the Hale Mountaintop are searching for the next uprising star. You know Gabriella Botticelli? Yeah, I went to school with her. That's wow. Awesome. Oh my goodness, how exciting it must be to be on tour with renowned musical stars. Oh, the dream. It is super cool, Mel. But if I'm being completely honest, I've really missed you guys, and I'm so happy just to be back with you all. Aww. We're glad you're back too. Hey, let's take a quick selfie. I don't want to forget this moment, okay? Yeah, Is that let's cool? do it, do it. Let's do it. Okay, Bruce, gotta smile. Well, cut out, Bruce. Ready? One, two, three. Cheese! Cheese! Cheese. Got it. Ooh, that came out good. I'll get it. We know you'll get it. Does this happen every time the doorbell rings? Hey, Melissa, the door was closed. Hey, 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 Michael! Hey, hey, hey. hey, you're here. Perfect. What's going on here? Friendsgiving. Yeah. Oh, we were going to have Friendsgiving and I didn't get invited? Is this what's happening? I just came to deliver Melissa's frozen puzzle and this is what I find? Whoa. This just got awkward. This is unbelievable. I'm appalled! Even Rob Hearthrob is here. What? We haven't even seen him in months! <sighs> hey Michael, what's wrong? What? Don't hey Michael what's wrong! You know exactly what's wrong! Michael, come look, you can have a seat next to Chris! Is that... Is that... A cutout of Bruce the Llama? Yeah. He gets invited, but I don't get invited. What's going on here? Hey. Take it easy. What did fake Bruce the Llama ever do to you? Oh, I don't know. Maybe that he got invited Bruce. and I didn't. What is going on with Michael? Did he not open his invitation? Michael, did you not get your invitation in the mail? Uh, let me see. No, I didn't get my invitation in the mail. If not, I wouldn't be reacting like this, would I, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You mailed the invitations out yourself last week. Did you not grab your own out of the stack? Okay. Did Michael seriously mail out everyone's invitation and not even look at his own? Oh boy. Oh, yeah, I know. Maybe you mailed it to yourself and so it's in the mailbox. Did you check the mailbox? <sighs> Gabby, why would I check the mailbox? This is in Blue's Clues. Hey, I love Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues, Blue's Clues. Michael, just sit down. Yeah. I'm not gonna sit down and pretend like this didn't even happen. Michael, seriously, come have a seat. We made your favorite, Brussels sprouts. Mm, yeah. Oh, how convenient, Brussels sprouts, right? Yeah. The person I love them didn't even get invited. No, no thank you. <sighs> Michael, you're gonna miss out on what you have in front of you, come on. Oh yeah, you're right. What's in front of me? What's in front of me? You know what's in front of me? A bunch of traitors, that's oh, what's in front Bruce, of me. Bruce, cover your ears. He oh. can't listen, he's a cutout. That's it, Michael put the hamster in the can and Sit down! You are ruining Friendsgiving! Put the hamster in the can? Melissa-isms. I've been on tour for months, and this is what I come back to? This is crazy in the time when we met Mr. 786. But if I'm being honest, you kids, I've missed this so much. Fine. Now, would anyone like some mashed potatoes? Also, we don't pray around this table. We're just a bunch of savages and then don't invite people to their celebrations, right? You know what? I'll pray. Yeah, everyone bow your heads. Heavenly Father. I can't. I can't. You can keep your friends giving. I'm done. That is delicious. Okay, I, I, I'll, I'll go get them. I can't believe it. I just can't do it. I can't pretend that everything is fine and dandy when clearly my friends forgot to invite me. What is that? Michael, wait, wait. Listen, I get that you're angry, but you're gonna miss out on what you have now. 
First of all, I don't even know how you got here. These are my inner thoughts. Get out. Oh, please. It's not hard getting into your head. Now, well, why don't you and I read a little bit of the Bible and maybe it'll help. Fine. But get out of my brain. Nope. God's story. Wilderness. So part of God's story is about how God took care of his family in the wilderness. And it begins like this. For many years, God's family was stuck as slaves in Egypt. So God chose a guy named Moses to lead them out of slavery and into an amazing home called Canaan, or the Promised Land, where they could be free. From the moment the Israelites left Egypt, God made it clear that he was with his family. He led them with a cloud during the day and a pillar of fire at night. He actually split the Red Sea in two parts so they could walk to safety. But the journey from Egypt to the Promised Land was hard. In fact, the Israelites didn't know where to find food and water or when they would get to Canaan. So just three days after leaving Egypt, they started complaining. What are we going to drink? Now Moses knew that God hadn't freed them from Egypt and parted the Red Sea just to let them die of thirst in the desert. So he asked the Lord to help and God helped. Then about a month later, they complained again. If only the Lord had killed us back in Egypt, they moaned. There we sat around pots filled with meat and ate all the bread we wanted. Now you have brought us into this wilderness to starve us to death. They actually wished they could be slaves again. Kids, have you ever complained about something instead of trusting God for help? Well, guess what? God had a plan his family never could have imagined. In the morning, dew covered the ground, and when it was gone, there were flakes of food that looked like frost. The Israelites called it manna, which means, what is it? Moses told them to eat it all and not to save any. But of course, some people saved a little, just to be safe. Remember, they were worried they wouldn't have what they needed. The next morning, the old manna was full of maggots, which are little bugs. Yuck! But the good news is, there was also new manna. See, God wanted them to trust him every single day. What's really crazy, though, is on the sixth day of every week, God did tell them to gather enough for two days. That way, they had one day to rest. It's called a Sabbath, and it's a day of rest. So when they woke up on the seventh day of the week, the manna they had saved was as fresh as it was when it first fell. We don't know how that happened, but it did. Well, the Israelites kept traveling, following the cloud and fire, eating new manna every day, and getting a Sabbath every week. It might seem pretty clear that God was with them, but they weren't so sure. At one point, they even said to Moses, Is the Lord with us or not? Why did you bring us out of Egypt? Are you trying to kill us with thirst? The people had stopped trusting Moses, which really meant they had stopped trusting God just because things got hard. Moses knew God had a plan though, and he asked for help. Turns out, God had another miracle in store. God said, take your staff, strike the rock, and water will come gushing out. And it did. For about 40 more years, God's family wandered the desert. And all that time, God kept on giving them food, water, rest, and protection. He even kept their clothes from wearing out. God's family couldn't take care of themselves on their own. They had to trust God, but he always gave them just enough just in time, and often in ways they could have never expected. And that's the story of how God took care of his family in the wilderness. So, in case you missed it, here's the quick version. God wanted his family to be free. God led them with a cloud and fire. He parted the Red Sea. The Israelites got thirsty and complained. God gave them water. They got hungry and complained again. God gave them food. They got thirsty and complained again. God gave them water, again. For 40 years, God gave them what they needed. All they had to do was trust every day. And that's a part of God's story. I don't like this feeling at all. 
What is, feeling is that? I don't know what it is. It's like bad and sad or put together. <laughs> yeah, that's because you didn't like how you reacted at dinner. Uh, I really don't. I definitely overreacted. It's okay. Sometimes our emotions can get the best of us and we react in ways that we don't want to. So what do I do now? I, I want to spend time with my friends, but I can't go back there. That's embarrassing. Of course you can, Michael. Those are your friends. I'm your friend. And we're all going to forgive you. And most importantly, God will forgive you too. He doesn't want you to miss out on what you have now. Okay. I will stop my grumbling and go back to dinner. I mean, after all, Friendsgiving is only once a year. And I definitely don't want to miss it. Plus... God has been so good to me. I have a lot to be thankful That's for. That's right. Well, why don't we worship a little bit first to completely cool down, and then we can go back in. Okay, I like that. That's a great idea. Let's do it. See you, kids. Join us. That's a Snapchat Boomerang with the praise in the right back Man, we hide in the sky, no turn back If it be our last night, leave it all here No fear, be clear, this is your year Let go of anything that isn't God's steer By Zine with the dream, and it's so clear Yeah, so clear And you know, wherever you go I'ma stick close, they gon' think we a duo Bond so tight, hug it out like a sumo And I never think twice, you the boss of my life No, you go And this world not down with us They can try to limit faith, but it's down to us Man, love so deep, not a game to us When the blessings come down, man, the praise go up
Hey guys, I am sorry for my behavior earlier. I let my emotions get the best of me and I almost ruined what was in front of me this very special day with all of you. I'm Aww. sorry. It's okay, Michael. You're our friend. We forgive you. Now come sit down and let's eat. Are yes. you sure? Yes. 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 Let's go. Thank you. I do have to ask though, what happened to your invitation? Seriously. That is a great question and I guess we'll never know. Hey guys, super random question, um, but do we have any more bread? What happened to it? He ate it all. There's a whole tray over there. Wow. <laughs> there was. <laughs> Who is it? Are we waiting for anybody? I don't, I don't know. think so. I'll get it. So Gabby, no parkour to go and get the door this time? <laughs> I'm eating. Guys, the final invitation for the turkey bowl. It's for Melissa. <laughs> Believe it's my turn. That's right. What was that envelope? Well, this is embarrassing and awkward. Found my invitation for Friendsgiving. Oh. oh well, that solves that mystery. And all that's important is that you are here and you're not missing out on what you have now. Yeah. True. Yes. Facts. All right, guys. Seriously, I can't eat another bite. I'm too excited. I'm gonna get to the turkey bowl and start warming up. Ah, I'll be back. Good luck, Melissa. Melissa, Melissa welcome, welcome to the 2021, 2021 Turkey Bowl. Bowl. It is it your time, time to show if you've got the skills to beat your opponent's time. So far, Michael has completed the challenge in one minute, 18 seconds. And Gabby in a minute, 20. Let's see how you do. Piece of cake, I can do this. Safety goggles on. And. On your mark, get set, go! Okay, all right, I'm looking for always be joyful and never stop praying. I'm gonna always be joyful and never stop praying because Give thanks, I think. Give thanks, uh, no matter what happens. Yeah. Okay. Give thanks, no matter what happens. Uh, yeah. God wants you to thank him. Uh, because you, oh my goodness, I'm missing Thessalonians. No! Where are you? Thessalonians? Thessalonians! Uh, okay. Uh, always be joyful. Never stop praying. Give. Thanks. No matter what happens, God wants you to think of because you believe in Christ Jesus. First Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. <sighs> For sure, I beat everyone's time. I mean, did you see my skills out there? Hmm. Congratulations, Melissa. You assembled the memory verse in one minute and two seconds, which means you and Michael will make it to the championship round. Oh yeah, I'm going for the gold. No, no, I said giant nativity scene, not giant activity scene. It's Christmas. I gotta go. Welcome to SGA, some good announcements. My name is Roxy and here in SGA, we update you CF Kids on all the important information that you need to know. For starters, Thanksgiving is this month, a time to say thanks for all God has done. And in celebration of Thanksgiving, CF Kids, we want to thank you for being so awesome. In other news, ever wondered how God can make a difference through you? Well, here's your moment, CF Kids. Complete the family mission. Love Gives Christmas Edition. Here's an opportunity to make a difference in someone else's life. Shop for a gift and bring it in to CF Kids during the month of November. These gifts will be given to special boys and girls in our community this Christmas. Finally, completing the family mission Love Gives Christmas Edition means you get closer to winning a mystery prize. It's such a mystery, I don't even know what it is. Complete six out of the seven challenges, including the family mission, memorizing the memory verse from the Turkey Olympics. Wait, we brought that back? Ooh, so traumatized. And most importantly, inviting a friend to church. CF Kids, you can do it. Well, that's all for SGA, Standard Gaming Algorithm. No, uh, 
Superior Galactic Intelligence, that's A. Oh, I'm sorry, SGA, some good announcements. I'm back! Hey! hey! Vanessa! Guys, the turkey bowl was so awesome! Nice! Okay. Yeah. Well, this food was delicious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and hanging with you guys again has been the best. Ah. So, what is everyone thankful for? Well, I have to say, I am so thankful for this Friendsgiving. Oh, I'm thankful for Cut Out Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> I am thankful for all of you guys because you put up with my emotions. So, Aww. thank you guys. Well, I'm thankful for the food. Ooh. <laughs> and I am thankful for you, CF Kids. Hey, -o. what are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? Share it with someone today, CF Kids. Whatever it is, we wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Let's pray and thank God for everything that He has done this year. Great Let's idea. Do it. Let's do it. Yeah. God, we're so thankful for this opportunity that we get to spend Thanksgiving with all of the CF Kids and their families. God, we're thankful for all the blessings that you pour onto our lives, God, and for the protection as well. God, help us to always be thankful in every opportunity, just like we read in the Bible. God, we're thankful for today and this week coming up. Lead us and protect us. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Bye, Bye, CF Kids! Kids.